There's something that you have that no one else in the world has that makes your massage better than everybody else's, including mine. Hi, Dennis here. Today's video, rather than us talking about a massage mistake, I wanna work on something a little bit different. And this is more for partners, for you guys that are receiving massages. Because it's something that couples have that no one else can have in the world. And I mean, when you two are massaging each other, you guys have connection, the ability to be intimate with each other. And that gives you a very definitive advantage over everyone else, even someone that's been massaging for 20 years. your massage way better than what I can do just by using intimacy and romance to your advantage. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to be active rather than starfishing it and just flopping there, allowing your partner to massage you. I want to show you how to get involved in the massage just a little bit to help give feedback to your partner who's behind you and giving you a nice back rub. And the two of you kind of have a bit of a dance. Just let you know, there's no right or wrong, okay? Like you can starfish it if you like, but your massages, the massages that you receive and also the massages that you give are going to be so much more fun if you're active, if you're playful together, if you're engaging with your partner while they're behind massaging and you're being involved as well, giving them feedback like mmm and ah and like that right there, massage right there, it's amazing, like keep going. The positive reinforcement, it totally changes the dynamic, especially when you're first starting out. Like in the beginning, you're not sure if you're doing it right, you know, you need that encouragement to help you understand if you're on the right track. Yeah, it's still, even as a professional massage practitioner of 20 years, I still need encouragement and feedback at times. It's really nice to know that the person that you're massaging is enjoying it. it makes me want to go a little bit better. Anyway, let's go check out this video. I'll see you at the end. My partner puts her arms out in front of her to brace herself. Now this is really important. You can see her arms are long, her elbows are locked out. And what this allows me to do is to go in really, really deep in one direction, but I can pull her back into me when I want to kind of like get us a little bit more coupley. And yes, it's totally cheesy, but you can't tell me that that doesn't look good. Like you're not sitting there going, man, I really want to be these two people at the moment. Now I'm massaging Emma's neck. I want you to have a really close look at what Emma's doing because Emma's actually taking control of the massage right now. I'm working her neck and I kind of like go in for these little moments of, hey, let's have a couple of time. And she stays upright. She's like, no, I want you to keep massaging my neck until I tell you that it's time to chill. And then look at this, I hit that spot. Then she lets go, she falls back into me. Look at that smile, that's amazing. Oh, she even goes, ah, ah, <laughs> love that. And that's a classic example of what being active when your partner's massaging you is all about. Oh, check this out. Hey, have you noticed why Emma's laughing? Let's just rewind that, have a look at what I'm doing to her ear. Oh, we're going in for a little nibble. <laughs> right, totally cheesy, totally coupley, but come on, that's awesome. You know, you don't, you miss these things. I don't even think that I put this in the video because we're just laughing too much, but I had to steal that moment on camera. And you can do this too when you're sitting in this position. Oh, this one I love. You watch Emma, she falls back into me, right? She's into this massage, it's great. The head nuzzles up and look at this. The fingers, they open up and they're an, like Emma's anticipating that connection. She's anticipating that I come in and wrap my fingers up with her fingers. And that's just like the perfect coupley moment too. Okay, so right about now, 
she's going to show off a little bit. Not everyone's as flexible as Emma, but she's gone all the way down. If you notice, I kind of lock my elbows out too. There's a lot of pressure in the hips right now. And this, this feels sensational. This is what I call massage gold. And gentlemen, you know, if you can get into the, I call these mushy, mushy, yum, yum bits. If you can get into this, she is going to be your biggest fan. Have a look at this dance. We're very close together. There's a lot of cheek to cheek. Emma's resting back on me. I don't know if you noticed that, but I, as I reached up her arms, look at this, I pushed her forward. She wanted to fall back onto me, but I kind of cupped her, pushed her forward, and Emma took the cue of going, I'm going to stay upright. And then, she falls back into me. Again, I push her forward saying, hey, I need you to come off me a little bit because I want you to be engaged. I don't want you to be too passive right now, but she still has moments of being passive. Have a look at this. She's sitting right back into me. There's a deep breath of satisfaction there. Emma's head tilts back. I meet her halfway and support her as well using my forehead. It's a great way to be connected. Like this is couples massage at its very, very best because we are both into this together. It's not just one person taking, it's both of us giving and both of us getting something out of it. Have a look at this neck massage. You can see Emma's just falling back into it, big smiles very slow massage strokes from me lots of pressure look at that look at that smile again again lots of intimacy as well and this i'm pushing forward emma's actually pushing back she's meeting me halfway and that's what i'm talking about with this dance if she was just you know star fishing it or wet fishing it she just flopped forward she'd probably run away from my hands and that would just be a terrible experience we need to be dancing when we're sitting in this position and you don't really get any of this when you're laying down like ever this is why i created the melt setup this is why i massage in this position so we can steal these moments so we can have that cheesy couple time together because you know even though it looks cheesy on camera when you do this together and you have those moments you're like oh baby i don't want to ever go back to just massaging normally or on the floor or on the bed so what are your thoughts about that you can see exactly how the dynamic can happen when you're being more active in the massage and you're sharing a moment with your partner you're having this little dance works really well. Alright guys, I'll see you tomorrow in the next video.